In this exercise, we're going to be adding some CSS resources to our gradebook application. Our objectives will be, of course, to add CSS resources. We'll configure the portlet component to use the provided CSS resources, and we'll finish by testing the changes. At this point, the styling of the assignment list needs a bit of polishing. If we were to go to the table view, in our gradebook portlet. We can, see we can see the author column is not aligned and the links should be underlined. So we'll go ahead and provide some CSS resources for the gradebook portlet to fix the issues. Uh, we'll begin by creating a CSS file to provide our custom styles for the gradebook web module. So here we are back in Liferay Developer Studio. And we're going to be creating a folder file within our resources folder in our web module. We're going to call that folder CSS. Within that CSS folder, we're going to be creating a new file, and we're going to call that file main.scss. As you can see, for me, that pulls up Visual Studio Code. Uh, it will likely pull up whatever uh, code editor that you typically use. So we'll go ahead and implement uh, the file according to the code snippet from your exercise instructions. So we'll go ahead and save that. And now the portlet component needs to know where to load the CSS resources from. So it's also a good practice to encapsulate portlet styles by wrapping the portlet in a CSS class. So we'll go ahead and open the gradebook portlet Java class. And we'll add some component properties, uh, which you can find in your code snippet in your exercise instructions. They are com.liferay.portlet.css class wrapper equal to gradebook portlet and com.liferay.portlet.header portlet CSS equals CSS main C dot CSS. So we'll go ahead and go back to the UI and test to see our changes in action. Here we are back in the UI. And if we go to our table view, you can see that the title links now have underlines and our author section is a little bit better lined up. Mm -hmm.